Alright, hey guys, what's happening? It's your boy King of Rage coming at you live with a new video. Uh, I got my buddy Ethan over here. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Holy shit. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Fuck it. We're gonna keep that. Okay, let's, let's reset. Hi guys! Okay, I'm not gonna do this intro again. Ethan, say hi. Hi. You, you all know who I am. Today, we've got something new. He's already explaining it along the way. Uh, vape reviews. So, for the, cup, for the past couple months, I've had a, what is called a rig mod. If those of you in the, who aren't in the, nigga. Holy shit. <laughs> for those of you who aren't in the vape community, the rig mod is a solid, well, solid metal mod that is CNC'd out of a solid brick, basically. It's labeled as one of the best, most hard-hitting mechanical mods out there on the market. And I honestly have to agree, I haven't had a problem with it, and it has hit hard as fuck ever since I bought it. Now, what my buddy Ethan has over here, that right there is the IPV3. The IPV3. Uh... It's able to do about 150 watts of power. You don't need that much, but it's there if you want to be stupid and set your cotton on fire every five seconds. But uh, other than that, it's a great box mod. It's a regulated device. It can go down to 0.08 ohms. 0 0.07. 0 0.07, that's really the cutoff. That's when it says, no, fuck you, I'm not gonna hit this. <laughs> I, I had one in the past. And uh, I I was running a super sub ohm build, and right at .07, it just said "fuck you" all the way. Cutting off that camera view of my face. It had to be done. <laughs> well then. Right back at you, buddy. Had to be done. But yeah, to be honest, I've never had a problem with this rig mod. I uh, clean it every now and then, well, probably like once every two weeks, keep the contacts fresh. Oh, look, there's a cop rolling in. We don't like cops. Yeah, we really don't. They give a shit. That cop's probably going to turn down here and uh, probably going to knock on our window and go, hey, what the fuck's going on in here? <laughs> I haven't seen him turn down that way yet, so. Yeah, he parked in front. I Did think, he? I think he came for that guy that was sitting oh. Dude, yeah, there's been a homeless guy chilling over here that has uh, been telling people off and has been singing super loud. I mean, he's not the most terrible singer, but I'd rather not listen to him 24-7. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of fucking annoying after a while. But, uh, yeah, back to this. Away from the cops and the police where the sirens were not blaring and no lights were flashing, but he's still here. Fucking asshole. <laughs> <laughs> sorry if any police were watching this. Uh, sorry. Please don't come find me. <laughs> so, honestly, I love my rig mod. I have never had a problem with it. And I'm rocking the tugboat Addy with a nice 22.5 wrap. Pushing out some fat vapor. And I've got my Anarchist top cap for max airflow, maximum overdrive. Maximum is best. <laughs> magnum is best. Magnum is best. <laughs> if you can't fit into a magnum, you're doing something wrong. Makes everything look bigger. <laughs> Honey, why do you buy magnum condoms if you can't even fit into the regular ones? I like to make myself feel bigger. <laughs> Well, I sure as hell can't feel it. <laughs> I swear, this is more of a comedy review than anything else. My clouds are on Magnum. <laughs> I think that stands for both of us. See, he, he's just on standard latex. Oh, fuck off! <laughs> At least I don't get my fucking condoms from the fucking... What? Planned Parenthood Clinic? I go to Walmart, okay? Get it right. <laughs> yeah, still the same damn thing. 
it's basically the same thing. I swear. I mean, if you go <sighs> back, if you go through the back door, you find this lady in a white fucking nurse's outfit, and you go, "I need this done today." And they go, we got coat hangers on aisle seven. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, well, besides the fact of us talking about gay shit like condoms and abortions with some fucking coat hangers. (laughs) Let's get back into the vape review because he doesn't know how to stay focused on one subject. I'm ADHD. Oh, sweet. Check out the fucking butterfly outside. (laughs) Uh, and for some that don't know, he is a um, a uh, dyslexic motherfucker. <laughs> if that makes any sense. So I'm dyslexic now, am I? As I've lost my juice in between the crevice that is okay. uh, the underside of my ass. IPv3, mutation XV2, with a 24 7 wrap build. You know. It's decent. Wouldn't prefer it, but people at my local vape shop just said, dude, trust me, like, it'll work. That's when you go, no, (laughs) fuck it. I want what I want. But when you trust your local vape shop, I mean, you push out some fat-ass cloud like what he's doing right now. I, um, I have animal by car. Eh. Carnage, Carnage by, by animal. animal. My bad. Six milligrams only. I have probably the most sought after juice, at least one of them, Serial Killer. From South Nine Vapes. It only comes in a four milligram, unfortunately, but it will do. It kicks ass, anyways. I have um, probably my favorite liquid. It's Lost Art Space Rocks. It's a kiwi and strawberry pop rocks. It is fucking delicious. Make sure to go buy some of that if you vape. I got a free bottle of 100 grand by Gemini, aka Philip Rock, one of the best juice makers for vape. And last but not least, I have my Heracles tank with scurvy dog, which I bought eh, probably about a month ago, 120 mil for 65. It's decent. Can go up to 75 watts without fucking up the tank itself. Um, other than that, yeah. And today I'm vaping on Muffin Man from One Hit Wonder. By far one of my favorite apple pie liquids I've ever tried. I mean, it's a nice, smooth flavor. I mean, in a six, it feels like a super low nicotine. And, I mean, I, I bought a 180 mil for 65 bucks, so what he paid for his 120 mil, I got 60 mils more at the same price. And I got two of these 15 mil juice pens, which absolutely kick ass when I'm walking around trying to drip, because with a dripper, I can't, I can't just, it, it's everywhere, it's in all my, it's in all my hands, and I just can't do it. With this, it's, boom. Done, you're it, and you're good to go. Well, unfortunately, I have a curfew because I am still living with my mother. Tu madre? Tu madre, I suppose. Um, okay. I have to leave this video now. He will probably end it too. If not, he might continue a little bit later and blend it into the the video, but I'll see you guys later. Unfortunately, I don't have a YouTube channel, but my buddy does, so. I'll hook him up when he gets a YouTube video, give him a shout out. Always, always give those shout outs every day. (laughs) But yeah, actually, I think this is where we're gonna cut the video. Uh, First ever vape review. Hope you guys like it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment on the video. All right. Y'all have a great day.